Hey guys, it's Keely. I'm back with another What Sold video. I'm a little behind on What Sold videos, so we are going to jump back in time to two weeks ago and cover What Sold that week. Sales were a little slow that week, but still happy with the results. We are moving into a summer slowdown and we're doing just fine because we are consistently listing. Let's dive into those sales. All right, so all of the sales that you see here happened between May 1st through the 7th. That happened a couple of weeks ago. In total, I sold 119 items for a gross sales total of $3,554.78, making my average sale price $29.87. That is extremely low for us um, but I'm still happy with our sales results so doesn't matter but you know just taking a notice that usually we are closer to 40 somewhere between the 30 to 40 range this is very very low for us estimated cost of goods based on the average buy cost was $476 estimated net which is our cost of goods less our or sorry, which is our gross sales, less our cost of goods, less fees and shipping costs was $2,056.13. Total items sold on eBay was $79 for a gross sales total of just over $2,400. And on Poshmark, we sold 40 for just over $1,100. We're gonna dive into some of the eBay sales. On eBay, we sold these pair of Rock Revival Men's Baldwin Slim Straight Jeans. This was a style that we couldn't find much information on, but decided to take a chance on it because the brand does so well for us, especially in the men's department. We actually paid up for these. We paid quite a bit up for them, but we did know that they would sell pretty quickly, which is why we took the risk. We paid $18.99 for these at a thrift store. That's right. But we turned them into $64.93 pretty quickly. This next one is an L.L. Bean men's robe, and it was made out of organic cotton, which is why we picked it up. The sleepwear section and the like loungewear section, we find some really quality items in, so don't skip that section if you're currently passing on it, especially in the men's department. We picked this up for only $4.99, and it sold for a full asking price of $39.92. Next up is a brand that has like a 400% sell through rate. It is Howler Bros or Howler Brothers and their shirts do extremely well. I think there's only like 57 available right now and like 100 sold. So definitely a really good sell through rate, something I will always pick up. This is the first time I've ever found it. So I'll just be keeping my eye out for it. But if you see this tag, it's definitely worth getting and they sell for good money. We paid $4.39 for it. It sold for a full asking price of $39.93. Next up is a pair of Levi's. These are 501s. I like picking up 501s when they're a little bit more special. These ones were kind of an acid -y wash and they had a little bit of distressing to them. These were a women's button fly. And all in all, they were just really unique. Even had a little spot on them and they still sold for an offer of $26.92. We originally paid $4.99. This is a Lululemon item. I occasionally like to show the men's Lululemon items because sometimes they're in departments you might not think that they're in. This was actually in the men's dress, dress shirt section and we just felt that it was quality. So we looked and saw the logo at the bottom and it ended up being a really great find. So don't just look in the athletic wear department. They do have some kind of casual pieces that slip through the cracks. We paid $4.39 for it. It sold for an offer of $35.90. Picked up this men's shirt at the bins. This is by Kenny Flowers, not something I'd really commit to memory, but the main reason that we picked it up was because it was a linen button up shirt and linen is doing really well for us right now. So I probably would have got this regardless of brand, nice color, nice size, and nice material. Again, we picked this up at the bins. It was pretty lightweight, so it probably cost less than a couple bucks, and it sold for $34.95. This is also something we didn't have much information about. This is a PBR by Bullhide men's cowboy hat. Cowboy hats can do really well, and this just had a really cool logo on it. It was really unique and in great condition. For that reason, we decided to pick it up, size extra large, and just priced it according to similar comps, although again, we could not find the exact thing. I paid $2.99 for this. It sold for $32.30, which is great for a hat. 
Next is one of our favorite outdoor brands to sell. It is Cool K-U-H-L. This does great in both men's and women's. This particular one was a pair of women's Contra, which was the style name, knee-length cargo hiking shorts. They make a lot of outdoorsy hiking stuff. And again, it just does really well for us. So we pick up almost everything in this brand. We paid $3.99. It sold for a full asking price of $34.94. Next is a new brand to us. And we started finding a few pieces in this in both men's and women's. It's American Giant. This is another one that has a really great sell-through rate. This was just a pair of women's joggers. And we got these at the bins. They were, like I said, just a pair of plain black joggers, which I think is why people... Um, people passed on them. There was also a small hole in the leg. Even with the flaw, it sold almost immediately for a full asking price of $34.94. Next up is another Benz pickup. I picked this up strictly off of style. Brand doesn't really matter, but the brand was just cruising. This is a 100% rayon maxi skirt. We come across these a lot in different brands, but the reason I picked this up was because I thought it was very unique with the colors and the embroidery detail. This sold almost immediately as well for a full asking price of $29.94. We've been selling a lot of silk shirts. You're gonna see quite a few of them coming up. This is Tommy Bahama. It's one of our favorite men's brands to sell in silk shirts. This one had a nice floral pattern and it was a size 2XL. Picked it up for $2.99. It sold for full asking price of $29.93. If you're not already looking for the men's silk button down shirts in the men's department, get over there. This is a great brand to pick up in that style. This is a free people women's we the free beachy long sleeve top this kind of style just sells really well in all brands but the fact that it was free people i think is why it sold so quickly it was also a size large this sold immediately upon listing it we paid four dollars 69 cents and it sold for 26 dollars 95 cents this kind of loose almost open knit beachy looking white tops do really well during this time of the year this is a Bob Mackie top, which is kind of like an art to wear brand. You can see it says wearable art. I picked this one up because it was a size 1X. We paid $4.69 for it. It sold on an offer for $26.95. This is another silk shirt. This is again a Tommy Bahama. This is a 100% silk shirt. It's got some palm tree leaves on it, which helped to add value. But this one was just a size medium, so it sold for a little less. We paid $4.39 for it. It sold on an offer for $22.42. This was another Benz pickup. I picked this up strictly because it was 100% cashmere. It's just by the brand Isaac Mizrahi Live, which is definitely not a very high high reselling brand but because it was 100 cashmere and we were getting at the bins i thought we would take the chance on it i honestly went against the comps and the self rate on this because it didn't seem like it was performing well but with all of those details involved the cable knit the 100 cashmere i thought it would do really well and it still sold even during the summer months so pick this up at the bins extremely lightweight sold very quickly for full asking price of 19 dollars 94 cents Moving on to some of our Poshmark sales, we paid up a little bit for this shirt, but again, we paid up because we knew it would sell very quickly. Life is Good is a brand that does really well for us, although it doesn't always perform uh, very well and have a high sell-through rate. This had a nice graphic. It was a Life is Good Sedona graphic top, paid $4.39 for it. It sold for $21. This is J. Crew. It is a women's somewhat newer label i don't think this is the newest label but it is one of the newer labels uh cardigan sweater and this we found out was called the jackie style and don't pass on j crew all the time some of their unique stuff does really well in this case this embroidered palm tree cardigan sold for 34 dollars, which is kind of crazy for a pre-owned j crew piece we paid 3.99 for it We've been loving picking up these kind of workwear brands. This is Duluth. This is a woman's size eight workwear outdoor kind of hiking pant. We picked it up for $4 and it sold for 38. This brand has been performing surprisingly well on Poshmark. I wouldn't consider it like a very trendy brand. I consider it more of an eBay brand, but it's actually been doing really good for us over on Poshmark. Here's another kind of workwear brand. This is a pair of men's Carhartt relaxed 
ants. These ones were new with tags, which is why they sold for so much. We paid up for these. We paid $9.99 for them, again, knowing that they would sell very quickly, and they sold for $40. Same thing with these. We paid $6.99 for these, and they sold for $29. Paid up because we knew they'd sell quickly. These are a pair of Men's Lucky Brand jeans in the style 181 Relax Straight. This is one of our favorite pairs of men's jeans to pick up, and you can come across them fairly often. I will say the price has dropped over the years, but still doing pretty good. This is a men's Nike hoodie. We do really well with men's Nike hoodies, and this is a newer label. You see this black label. It is one of the newer ones. Just a plain black hoodie, but it was a size large. It sold for $30. We picked it up for $4.99. Here's another silk shirt. This is also a great brand to pick up in men's button-down silk shirts. It's Nat Nast. Pretty much nothing else in this brand does good, but the Nat Nast silk shirts are very desirable. We paid $4.39 for this. It sold for $25. Here's another Nike piece. These do surprisingly good. We've been picking up a lot of women's skorts in different brands, but in particular, the Nike Dry Fit women's skorts do really, really good. This is just a plain back skirt, something a lot of people would pass on. We paid $3.99. It sold for $35. Paid $3.29 for this Patagonia t-shirt. I have a hard time passing up Patagonia. This one had a little bit of fading, had a small tear in the seam, but it was a nice back logo graphic, a size large, and even still sold for $21. So don't pass on this brand if you can get it at a low cost. And lastly is another high sell through rate for us pair of men's jeans. These are Buffalo by David Benton. And the modern looking ones I'll pick up all day long. These were called the Six Slim Straights. We paid $6.99 for them and they sold for $29. I think this is a brand a lot of people pass on, but it performs really well for us. All right, guys. So that's it for what sold two weeks ago? I almost said last week, two weeks ago. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do another video to catch us back up for the previous week sometime later on this week. So if you're not already and you would like to catch that video, make sure you're subscribed down below as well as hit that notification bell. That'll inform you as new videos go live. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.